ओके देव विवर Something is going wrong. Okay, seven C's of communication, right? So we'll discuss about seven, seven C's of communication in detail. Uh, you know, communication process, sender, receiver, encoding, I think it's huh, seven C's of communication. Clear, concise, concrete, correct, coherent, complete, and courteous. So we'll discuss in detail seven C's of communication. Clear, message should be clear, means clarity. Be clear about the goal of your message. What is your message? It should be clear. And the purpose of the message, present one idea at a time, making it easier for the recipient to understand. Getting my point. What means? Means ki whatever message you are giving to others, it should be clear and understanding. Don't leave them guessing what the message. Means he or she should be not in doubt what is the message correct. What is the message exactly? is about and having to fill in the gaps themselves. No gap should be there in your correct message, right? Concise, conciseness, keep to the point and keep it short and simple. I have discussed yesterday, short and simple matches should be there. Don't use unnecessary word to use. Why unnecessary word? Why I'm saying uh, unnecessary word uh, should not be there in your message and in your communication? What it means? Anyone? See, communication is a part of your personality also, right? Unnecessary words means unnecessary words create what? Confusion. Unnecessary words means it can be, it can create conflict, fight, and it can be down your personality, right? No unnecessary word should be there. Use two words where one will do or six sentences when three will do. Please uh, focus on this uh, topic, conciseness. Concise means keep to mean and keep it short and simple. Don't use unnecessary words. Use two words where one will do or six sentences. When three will do, don't repeat the same point in different ways. Whatever message you are giving to other, it should be not repeated in next sentence. Means if you are repeating, you, uh, you will, she or he will feel like she doesn't know how to message or he doesn't know how to message. Yes, it's a part of your personality also. Don't uh, learn about communication for examination, for NET, and for PhD. Just focus on communication for your personality, deep personality and beautiful personality for your job purpose, your business purpose, whatever you want to become. This will also make any communication more engaging and easier to understand. Got it? OK. Three, concrete. Concreteness, be clear, not fuzzy. Ensure there is enough detail to get the message across, but Excuse not. Me, yes, yes, please. Um, uh, one of my friend Usha ma'am is waiting in uh, waiting lobby. Can you accept her? OK, wait.
I'm not able to add her. Admit. Okay. Fine. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, most welcome. Then I'm thank you and sorry for the delay. Uh, no, it's okay. <laughs> Actually, network problem was also there. So concrete, concrete, be clear, not fuzzy, ensure there is enough detail to get the message across, but not too much so that the recipient will be lost and that the message is factual. Adding too much noise around your main point can mean these are missed. Means if you are, suppose you are uh, fighting with your enemy enemy should not be there in your life but it's an example suppose you are fighting with enemy and in frustration and in uh, hurry you have said something wrong so what the masses will be there about your personality about your tone it will leave a bad impact on others not on only that person who is in front of you to fight but other person also right are you getting my point yes or no i want josh in group yes ma'am yes, ma yes so your uh, word and your message should be polite your message should be clear concrete Adding too much noise around your main point can mean these are missed. Sometimes you miss the word to listen, which uh, your friend is saying, just because of hurriness, just because of, because of, he or she is in hurry to go and she said something and you didn't hear because she's in a hurry, right? Make sure your main point and any conclusion are clear to recipient. You are going somewhere or you are doing something, you are sending message to family, message to friends. It should be clear and in very slow motion to understand and to make you understand, make him or he, she understand, make your family understand. Okay, now correct, correctness check the information you are providing is accurate and in written communication written communication is very important and it shows your personality you know whatever you are if you are in writing process now it should be very very professional or what you are uh, writing a personal letter it should be very uh, it sound it can be sound polite and like you, uh, you are clearing your message you are giving clear message to him or her means check the information you are providing accurate and in written communication ensure it is free from grammatical and spelling errors spelling errors always you'll find spelling uh, errors in phone so type correctly you are in communication class, you are in yoga class, and you are preparing for net examination. It, it is actually very high level. So it should be look like high level, you know? Am I right or wrong? Yes, ma'am. Check the technical parts of your content are understandable by the person receiving the information especially in office in business your message should be look like very professional correct and clear right preparation will help here to make sure you can be sure about what you are communicating or change to read chance to read what you have written Next, seven C's of communication, five point coherent. Make sure your message flows well and is laid out logically. Message should be logical. The point you make should all be linked to the main topic and should help you to deliver the objective you originally set. How to achieve, make sure the tone of message is 
same throughout your tone of message either it is verbal or it is written right or it is phonic whatever it is there it should be what original authentic logical six complete completeness is very very important to give any message uh, i have said yesterday i am going for example i am saying to you i am going but where i am going i should be mentioned there na where i am going i am going to market i am going to school i am going to college i am going to meet my friend i want here there whatever okay you have to clear the message complete the sentence ensure the recipient has everything that they need to understand your message suppose your mama is at home and you are saying i'm going mama but what mama will understand where she is going what should you do you should you should complete the sentence i am going to take the class i am going to college i am going to school whenever you are going to you have to mention the message complete your sentence to your mama give to your mama a right and complete sentence right so if action is needed ensure your message includes a call to action call if you can't give a complete message to your mama mama i am going to school college whenever you are going if you didn't give clear or complete message then go there and call her what call her mama i am here so that she will be not in tension getting my point yes or no yes ma'am yes clear no. clear yes ma'am good so call to action also ensure that any specific detail are clear and included don't leave the recipient with lost of question to ask means complete clear message it should be there clear message should be there to complete your sentence he or she should not have any question to ask you have said i am going so is it complete message Oh. is it complete message it's not a complete message it's not a complete so how will you complete this sentence then there Good. should be no uh, uh, topic to ask any question from your mama side so what should be there it should be where are you going complete sentence where are you going it should be complete so she will not ask any question again right So sentence should be should be complete. So courtesy, what courtesy? Courtesy, your message should be polite. Always be in polite situation, not in communication class, not with your family. Polite with your friends, polite with your enemies also. As per my point of view, I am the only person in my society who is very very polite. Reason. i don't believe in fight i don't believe in arguments conflicts any type of uh noise pollution i don't believe in noise pollution so you are in yoga so you should be like polite personality polite person if you if you are polite person na nobody can ask anything about anybody and anything about you with, uh, from anybody nobody can uh, uh, give you a uh, bad message about you in society in friends in family if you are polite now everybody everybody will respect you okay so be polite all time anywhere either you are in family you are in between friends you are in class no enemy should be there that is called courtesy friendly professional open and honest honest word is very very uh, means meaningful 
sentence it's a word meaningful word means you are a honest person nobody can cheat you am i right or wrong if you are a honest person nobody can cheat you because your vibration is very very friendly honest and polite if you are polite person friendly person honest person can i cheat you no automatically your positive vibration will come to me and i will be clear about you i'll be honest about you so give positive message to others and take positive message to you so courtesy is very very important for your good and powerful personality okay think about your message from the recipient point of view and you are empathetic towards their needs this will be help you to deliver the message in a way that easy to understand and buy in you if you are polite friendly professional open and honest what i have said before nobody can cheat you right and your message will be clear and complete also communicating to or writing for the reader can make your communication more engaging now we'll come to communication process there are seven process in a communication parts of communication process sender who is sender right now who is sender you ma'am right now i am a sender and you are receiver receiver then encoding message decoding message communicating channel medium feedback all will be there to understand i am uh, let me tell you about myself i am from uh, my background is mass communication and journalism right i have worked in doordarshan also so this is communication process is very important to understand the whole house of communication right next communication process what is communication process first sender the sender or communicator is a person who initiates the conversation and has conceptualized the idea that the intent to convey it to others encoding what is encoding see what is encoding the sender begins with the encoding process i am what i am doing i am in encoding process right wherein he or she uses certain words or non verbal methods such as symbols sign body gestures etc body gestures symbols matters in communication body gestures suppose you are talking to me face to face right you are saying like ma'am you are very nice but your expression is very bad right your expression is like she hates me but she is saying ma'am you are very nice it matters what i will think at that time about you anybody you will think negative because the facial expressions are right opposite facial expressions body language your gesture your sign your symbol your eye contact is matters in communication to translate the information into a message the sender's knowledge skill perception perception i'm talking about your expression right you are saying ma'am you are very nice but your expression is not good your skill is okay but perception your gesture your symbols is not good so i will think like she is she she hates me but she is just doing formality in front of me okay perception background competent competent the competencies etc has a great impact on the success of message what i have said you are saying like this 
but your expression, your symbol, your gesture was not good. So what the impact will be transferred to me about yourself? It will, it will be bad impact, right? I will think she doesn't like me, but she is just buttering me. That's it. My my thinking will be like that, right? Suppose no. I'm saying you are very beautiful. OK, but my expression is you are very beautiful. It's is it impactful? No. It will leave a bad, bad impact on you about me. So it should be powerful. It should be clear. Sender encoding a message to you. It should be clear about skills, perceptions, backgrounds, competencies, etc. has a great impact on the success of the message. Then message. Once the encoding is finished, the sender gets the message that he or she intends to convey. The message can be written oral, symbolic, or verbal, such as body gestures. Silence. Silence is a big killer, you know. <laughs> it's extra topic from the topic. Silence is a best, best, best killer. If you want to, if you want to kill your enemies now, just keep silence. She or he will be in deep thought. Why she is silence? Right? Don't reply on the spot to anyone. That will be good impact. That will be good for you. Good for your personality. Silence is a big medicine or big killer sign sounds etc or any other signal that triggers the response of a receiver whatever you are doing by gesture symbolic non-verbal verbal whatever it is there it will be triggers the response of the receiver communication channel what is the communication channel the sender chooses the medium through which he wants to convey his message to the recipient. It must be selected carefully in order to make the message effective and correctly interpreted by the recipient. The, the choice of medium depends on the interpersonal relationship between the sender and the receiver, also on the urgency of the message being sent. Oral, virtual, written, sound, gesture, etc., are some of the commonly used communication medium. Means whatever you are giving the message, you are giving the message, it should be your uh, choice. Choice should be there, either Hindi, English, or your personality related. That is communication channel. I'm I'm speaking right now. I'm teaching in English, right? And you are not un understanding the words and sentences. So is it complete message? Is it complete message? No, no, it wouldn't be because you are, you are will not work because I am not understanding your language and you are not understanding my language. So it should be common or understanding language chosen by you to give your message or to receive the message. Next, receiver. The receiver is the person who whom the message is intended or targeted. Receiver, you are the receiver right now. I am targeting, of course, you. I am targeting. You, the receiver is the person for whom the message is intended or targeted. He tries to comprehend it is the best possible manner such that the communication objective is attended. 
the degree to which the receiver decodes the message depend on his knowledge of the subject matter, experience, trust, and relationship with the sender. See, uh, we have very good relationship. We have very good bond. I have very good bond with you. You have very good bond with me. It will be a powerful weapon to transfer the message or to receive the message, decode the message, or encode the message. Means relation should be complete, clear, and understanding to understand the message. Right? It all depends on your knowledge, trust, and relationship with the sender. Getting my point? Yes or no? Yes, yes, ma'am. How is the Josh? Now? Decoding. Decoding here, the receiver interprets the sender's message and tries to understand in the best possible manner. An effective communication occurs only if the receiver understands the message in exactly the same way as it was intended by the sender. Whatever message I'm sending to you, Either it is rude, either it is rude or it is polite. Whatever I will send to you, you will reply in the same manner. Then you, what, we, what should be there? Your message should be what? No reply. Can you, can you repeat what you said, ma'am? Can you repeat what decoding, you said? what decoding is there here the receiver interprets the sender's message and tries to understand who is the receiver right now we are the receivers you are the are sender the so you are trying to understand my message what i'm trying to say it is the yeah. best possible manner right and effective yes. communication yeah. occurs only if the receiver understand the message if you are understanding my words my sentence in exactly the same way in exactly the same way i am saying yeah. as yeah. it was intended by the sender whatever i am sending to you you are understanding in the same way that will be powerful communication you know powerful so yes, last is feedback. What feedback means so, uh, you are the receiver, I'm a sender, encoding and decoding. I'm sending a message to you the way I'm teaching to you. You are understanding or you are not understanding. Feedback will be there. The feedback is the final step of the process that ensures the receiver has received the message means whatever i have taught to you from yesterday you have understood everything right understood everything whatever you have understood you will give the feedback the feedback is the final step of the process that ensures the in receiver has received the message and interpreted in the what correctly as it was intended by the sender whatever i have said to you you have understood and you will give the feedback it increases the effectiveness of the communication as it permits the sender to know the efficacy of his message the response of the receiver can be verbal or non-verbal what i am doing right now what we are doing right now, it is a verbal communication, which we are doing to each other. And indirectly, we are face to face or to the internet, right? So whatever I have given the message, whatever I have made you understand about the communication, communi seven C's of communication, process of communication, whatever I have uh, sent to you, you have understand correctly, carefully, and you will give the message, you will reply the in the same way. You have give the feedback after understanding the 
topics is it clear till yes ma'am process yes yes ma'am so who will come to describe in 2 to 3 minutes from seven c's of communication to communication process your slide is there you can read and make me understand two minutes you have two minutes to describe all the topics come on come on it is a learning process don't hesitate please okay nobody will come right ma'am um, i wasn't there for the slide uh, except this i can talk about the other ones be clear what i understood is um, whatever we want to communicate um, that should be clear enough because there should be a purpose behind the message and the purpose should come out very clearly good that is what i understood by clear and um, concise is um, you, you we have to speak to the point we can't beat around the bush and start speaking something and make it more confusing we should be very crisp and um, precise so that the message that we want to communicate is passed in the right way right so it should be kept short and simple great and then uh, concrete is um, again to be clear and not confusing um, there should be enough details to get the message across but not so many details that the recipient gets lost in what this could be he shouldn't be confused and the message should be based on facts right anything that you would like to add but did i convey it in the right way ma'am yes yes right way yeah so we need to ensure that all the main points are conveyed and the conclusions are clear correct then uh, being correct is to ensure that the message that we are trying to convey is accurate and grammatically correct correct and uh, to be coherent is uh, to ensure that the message is conveyed well it it should it should be flawless and it should also be laid in a logical manner like the sequential manner we can't put the first one in the end and the last one in the beginning something like that Good. so it should flow in a very coherent and consistent manner then completeness is related to uh, conveying everything that we uh, everything that we wanted to communicate so that the receiver, yeah the the receiver should understand the complete message whatever is needed to understand the complete message that whole thing has to be communicated we shouldn't just stop it uh in a dangling manner where the receiver does not understand what is he going to do or what is she going to do where is she going like the example that you gave about i'm going and without completing the message where he or she is going yes. uh, it would be very confusing to the receiver that is completeness we should complete it so that the receiver understands the total message correct and being courteous is to be polite friendly open so that we are more approachable and there is less noise as you said correct so these are the seven c's of communication see seven c's of communication is not only for communication purpose in your for your net examination and phd and whatever you are going to do in future seven c's of communication is personally very important to follow for your bright future to make your future bright and powerful to make your personality 
powerful and impactful to others so seven c's of communication is a very very important part of your life it will be go with you till end so grab it permanently okay so uh, who will come to uh, your name is my name is usha ma'am usha very good uh, nice explained well explained so Thank who you. will come for explaining communication process part of communication process it is also very important in your communication uh, class and for examination purpose so who will describe in one minute it's not too big it's very short topic who will come to explain seven part of communication process see why, why i am doing all this you have learned everything about communication on the spot no need to read and make uh, notes and all make notes and all but you will learn everything on the spot and it will be help you to learn more about communication for examination purpose am i right or wrong yes ma'am yes, yes ma'am so who will explain these seven part of communication process okay leave it sender receiver encoding message sender i am the sender you are the receiver i am encoding message and message will go to you communication channel through the channel i will discuss about the channel tomorrow decoding you have received the message it is decode to you now it's time for feedback okay and now give the feedback to me how was the class today class today's class it was good it was good you understood everything yes yes okay good great so we'll finish the class today we'll meet you again tomorrow face to face face to face i don't think that we are on internet i am thinking on i think we are face to face direct communication okay. direct communication be positive all time <laughs> okay now la let's finish the class who will come for prayer i can do it ma'am yeah please please sit straight with your head neck and spine erect adopt namaskara mudra and gently close your eyes om sarve bhavantu sukhina ha sarve santu nidamaya sarve dadrani pashyantu ma kashya dukha bhavave om shanti 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 thank you dear see you tomorrow thank you ma'am thank you take care bye bye have a good day you too ma'am thanks ma'am okay good morning